A young boy puts a curse on his dad using his birthday wish, sending his life into complete chaos. Who did this? A madman, your honor! Hi, and welcome to my video essay on the 97 movie Liar Liar by the Farley Brothers. Jim Carrey stars as Fletcher Reed. 21st floor, menswear. A divorced father who makes a lot of promises. Mom, Dad's taking me to see wrestling! And breaks a lot of promises. We're not going, are we? He's... a liar. You mean he's a lawyer? No, he means liar. Happy, 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 happy. The last happy, straw is when his dad happy, don't even come to his annual birthday. Because so he's so busy at work with an important new case. I guarantee you'll make partners. And having sex with his I boss. I just can't make it. The boss is, uh, really riding me. Meanwhile, it's time for that life-altering birthday wish. Make a wish. I wish the boss wasn't riding my dad. And also, he makes one more wish. I wish that for only one day, Dad couldn't tell a lie. He blows out the candles, and the wind starts to blow outside. Is it good for you? You can't lie. <laughs> I've had better. And it's about to get a whole lot worse. Considering the plans of this man. Fletcher, pleasure to see you. Hi, honey. Hi, His ex-wife's new boyfriend. Wow. Will you marry me? And he wants to move the whole family to Boston. No. Well, what were you doing? Having sex. Meanwhile, Fletcher's truth-telling is spiraling out of control. I hope that it was with someone very special. He can't keep like anything her, to himself. She's a partner and I thought I could help my career by making her squeal. Ooh! What's wrong with me? Now let's move on to this iconic elevator scene, which is crucial to understanding this dire situation. Since he can't lie, all he can think about is her boobs. But he's trying hard not to say anything. You like it so far? Mm-hmm. Everybody's been real nice. Well, that's because you have big jugs. I mean, your boobs are huge. I mean, I want to squeeze them. <sighs> the truth comes out. Mama! Is this what the young child wanted? We are leaving tonight. Please, Audrey, give me one more chance. Give me a chance to be the father I started out to be. It's been a rough day for Fletcher, especially because all the breasts he's had to remark on. So he gets one more chance. <sighs> You're really coming? This is ironclad. He's really coming! He's really coming! I'm gonna go change! Okay, go ahead. So all we gotta do is lie. That sounds simple enough, doesn't it? And so here we are. One chance to save your son. The big moment. But you can't lie. You gotta tell the truth. Because of the curse that your son gave you. So what do you do? He's gonna use an idea he has. My client lied about her age. She was only 17 when she got married, which makes her a minor. Swoosh! And that's the game! He wins the case real quick because he actually didn't need to lie, but this is not an essay about clean lawyering. It's about what's truly important in life, and that's staying in your son's life even though he put a hex on you. Why? He's got to stop this plane from going to Boston by whatever means necessary. How's he going to do that? Well, maybe the shoe will help. It does help, and the plane stops, and Fletcher saves the day, except for all the other people on the plane. At the end of the day, the curse is over, and Fletcher goes back to lying, but there's one thing he don't need to lie about. I love my son! I love my he son! He loves his son. I love my son! Even though he's a witch. I love my son. Thanks for tuning in. I'll okay. see you next time. Take everything! Oh. Spoken!